Hey guys, it's Jack with Kapwing, and today I'm going to show you how to easily add voiceover to your videos. Voiceover is one of the most powerful tools that you can use to add a little bit of depth to your videos, in my opinion. I think it is really underrated. I think that voiceover can really add to a lot of projects, but most people just forget how to do it or don't know how to do it. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how. I personally use voiceover in a lot of my own personal videos when there's like a montage or some stock footage or B-roll going on. Others use voiceover for educational content like ASAP Science, Economics Explained, and Crash Course. And of course, a lot of people use it for comedy. I feel like it's really easy to parody using voiceover. The thing that pops into my head immediately is the Honey Badger video. This is the Honey Badger. Watch it run in slow motion. Yeah, we all know that. That was simply just voiceover over like Planet Earth video. And obviously that video did really well and made someone a lot of money. So <laughs> don't overlook voiceovers. So I think there's a lot of opportunities where adding voiceover can be really helpful. So today I'm gonna show you guys how using our free online video editor, Kapwing. Now, before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button and join our online community of modern creators and keep up with tips, tricks, and trends in online video. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head to Kapwing. There's a link in the description that you can click and it'll take you right here. So go ahead and do that. And then just make sure to sign in to your free account. Logging in makes it so that when you export your video, you don't have the Kapwing watermark. So just go ahead and sign in. So then once you're in your workspace, you can add new content. You can either paste in a URL that you want to edit um, or you can upload your own. I'm going to upload the iconic iguana versus snake moment from Planet Earth 2. I don't actually want to edit this whole thing. So I'm just going to right click and then click the split button. You can also just click the S button on your keyboard when you have something highlighted and that will turn it into two clips. I'm going to just delete these. Also, the first thing I'm gonna do because I don't actually want any of the sound from this video, I'm just going to click this video and then reduce the volume all the way to zero on the right in the edit panel. So now my video is muted and I want to add my own audio. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just head to the record button up top on the right and then click into that and then click the record audio only button. Now, once you're in here, you're going to want to choose which device you're going to record with. I'm just going to choose my MacBook Pro, of course, and then you're going to click the red record button and start. So let's give it a shot. We are snakes and we are hungry. We are snakes and we are hungry. We are snakes and we are hungry. Okay, and then when you're done, you're just going to click the red button. And then you can see that it drops um, right wherever this sort of timeline marker um, scroll is. Um, so if I record another one right here, and I record and record my audio again, and I record, please don't eat me, you snake then it will place right where the marker is again. Now, if you say something you don't like in your audio, then you can just trim it again using the right click and then the split button, and then you can just go ahead and delete it. You can also, of course, drag the ends of the clip. As you can see, you can add many layers when you're doing this. I have two right now. You could add a lot, a lot more. You also can change the speed of the audio using the speed button in the edit tab, and you can make it really fast like this. I don't need to do that though, so I'm going to just keep it at one times speed, and then you can change the volume as well. You also can change the timing manually using time codes, but I find that it's generally just easier to use your mouse. And yeah, you could add many layers throughout here just by clicking your marker where you want it to start, clicking the record button, click record audio only, and then record again. And so because this is just an example, I'm going to stop here. I could of course make dozens of layers, but I'm going to export the video now. You can either click the export video button or the drop down and pick what file you want. And because I'm logged in, you can see that my watermark free content is being exported. If you find that you do have a watermark on it, again, just remember to sign into your free account and then export. Then you can just download using the download button. You can also click the edit button if you're not quite happy with what you've made. And then when you click down here, here's the video. We are snakes and we are hungry. We are snakes and we are hungry. So yeah, that's about it. All right, guys, I hope this video was useful to you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and join our online community of modern creators and keep up with tips, tricks, and trends for online video. Like this video if it was helpful and comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any video requests. I am more than happy to provide, ask, and you shall receive. And we'll see you guys in the next one.